So I have a change of plans on the solar ground mount for this uh, six kilowatt array. Let's get started. So I originally was going to use all Unistrut and make it go up but change of plans. I'm going to do a whole different style of building an array. Something I haven't seen before. And it should be really rock solid. So let me get some holes dug and I'll show you some of my supply. Okay, so my first supply would be this two inch galvanized. And there is part number now these are really expensive I picked this up from the local hardware store uh, which will be Lowe's it was like almost 80 bucks for this 2 inch galvanized by 10 in uh, 10 foot let me show you what else I got and by the way I apologize for all the wind we just came through a tropical storm so here are some 2 inch black pipe about 10 and it is threaded on both ends can you see where we're going with this yet yeah so I am going to be putting these 20 LG panels on this array that we just scavenged off of a house along with my other array so, off-grid style. So that's the pipe I'll be using. I will I think I'm gonna need one more of these. I'm not going to go back to the galvanized. I'm just gonna paint these with some epoxy black paint. So, let's get to it. And by the way, I do have some help. Okay, so my first design was to use one single, like three to four inch, uh, quarter inch thick pipe sticking to the ground about four or five feet then have about four or five feet sticking out of the ground well apparently down here on the gulf all of the uh, even scraps that you can weld together uh, is impossible to find I've tried looking for some uh, oil well digging pipe and uh, yeah, it's, it's not very easy to find down here on the Gulf Coast, at least in my area. So I went with two inch. Instead of having one single, I will have three. One there, one here, and one there. So we'll just have uh, some T's and yeah, ignore the mess back here on that shop. I've got everything all tore apart. So I'm trying to get the first part of the array put together and then uh, I will get the second part of the array. So the first part of the array will be this hole, which will need to be at least five foot deep. And then that hole there will need to be at least five foot deep. So luckily I've got some help over here to help me dig these holes because I cannot do it. It's, I feel like a wind is kicking well apparently I have hit the water table plus all the rain we've gotten down here now I'm approximately I got a buddy of mine over here digging the hole so we are approximately what three three and a half feet four feet three and a half feet so let's keep going. Okay, again, still ignore the back fence. Uh, finally, I think I mentioned it in one of the other clips. I finally got somebody to come and replace my fence. Eight foot boards are hard to come by down here on the Gulf Coast. So just to give you a, an overview of the, the panel rack, I've got some welds on. I just threw some 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 brief paint on, on this uh, black pipe to cover it up, and 
gotta get all of this mess cleaned up for me pulling all this stuff out of the shed and gotta get all of this one uh, disassembled get all these posts out of the ground so I also got the uh, splices in so I can add my splices I'm gonna bring these down another let's see here how I have that there I'll probably put it somewhere about uh, about a foot up which will put those another foot down and that way when I add the five foot splice on give me a, an opportunity of possibly putting on um, two more panels which will have five in a row now what I'm thinking about doing on this last one here is uh, I'm trying to decide but I think and I believe that I'm gonna take that little cap off right there because it has not been welded on yet. I think I'm gonna fill this up with concrete. That way, right now, you probably can't see it, but it's wobbling a little bit. Where the other ones don't. This one does a little bit, but it's not bad. But I, I know once I get more balance on it right now, I've got a lot on the front side. But once I put five on there, it'll be a lot more, uh, at least quite a bit more balanced. So I had, by the way, I did have somebody come out here and they got me pricing on repairing and replacing my rear fence that is eight foot tall. So that'll be happening pretty soon. But I made a discovery. Now these are just up here temporary. My other array up front is different, but... So I went and bought, let's, let's use this one. That's some pretty thick unistrut or super strut. And this is just on here temporary. I've got some splices coming so I can make these longer so I can make them four or five deep. So you'll see that this was one that was in the, in the uh, laying out the yard. So, but I went and bought more unistrut. That is thin. And how I can tell is on the, the U-bolt, it is pulling through and it's bending. Well, let's look at this other Unistrut. Nothing. So, this Unistrut came from Home Depot and it was only about $24 for a, a stick of it. Well, this cheaper stuff that's galvanized, this other stuff is just uh, anodized, I believe. This stuff I paid $21 a stick for it. And it is super, super, super thin. But Home Depot is out of the thicker. This is an inch and five H super strut or unistrut. So luckily they got more in and uh, my main panels that'll be bolted will be the, the Home Depot unistrut and the thinner stuff will be the ones that get extended out. I don't know if I'm gonna go four or five I guess see how the splice holds up. So, all right, let's keep going and getting this uh, other uh, shop here cleaned out and get all of this stuff thrown away. Years and years of collecting and junk.